Hello, everybody. We are here in the studio of Greg Ortiz. Greg, this is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. It's just incredible. Do you just love being in here? I, I actually dread going to sleep. I love being in here. It's so relaxing. It's my world, and it's just something that I, I'm so honored and grateful every day that yeah. I wake up. That you get to do this. I love yeah. it. So we are here. We're filming for the convention, but I want to show you guys something so special. We're going to look at the production process of Betty Boop. Who doesn't love Betty Boop? We all love Betty Boop. But there is so much that goes into bringing something to market. Can you talk about that? Yeah. So so when you're, produ when you're producing the, the final product, there is a process that goes that many people don't get to see. So this is kind of like a mock-up of the final painting and the final structuring of the joints and the sculpting um, before it goes into production. But prior to that, there's earlier stages. So we start out with the original sculpt. So this is a sculpt that I created. Um, and this particular sculpt is made out of a medium called paper clay. Um, it's a paper base. It's made out of a volcanic ash and paper pulp um, and it's easy to sand you can add take away but once the final uh, sculpt I guess it, uh, that is completed and I'm happy with this is what's sent to the factories to create and start the process of our production from there we then segue into a blank which pretty much this is where we kind of find mm. anything that needs to be revised anything that we, you know we just need to address there's like markings of maybe some divots and some curls that probably need to be retouched and from there another um pour is created this is once it's agreed on and, uh, and finalized then we start the process of painting um, this is the stages of painting there was many many layers that went into the painting to get the right color um, this is flesh, cone, flesh tone, and we have the, the coloration of the eyes. And then from there, we do, which is kind of like the pour that is created for the production. Um, it's kind of like mm -hmm. then sealed, and this is what we have. Um, now, if you look closely here, you've got all these seams. The reason for that was that I didn't want to have the joints being um obvious so they they're they're encased in the head so in order to do that we have these magnets that then are added into this and this will once it's set it clips on and you can't tell where the seams are it's and so good so if we go to this piece here once the doll is actually jointed to to keep the tension of the joints and keep everything really taut for for uh, positioning this is what it would look like isn't this around. so amazing to see the process and the intricacy and all the different layers to bring something to market to design something so all the jointing goes wow. all the way through all the extremities through the torso and it's taut right up here on the top it is so great to see her without her fabulous dress so that we can just see the inner workings of it. Amazing. And then you just... just Don't you just wish you could put your hair on like that? Yeah. I mean, just, <laughs> just change your hair. Just don't even comb it. it on. Yeah. Just a different look every day. But then once that's completed and everything is approved, we go into production and voila, you have the final product. Now, this is your... This one right here is your sample. Now, this one is a sample. Um, didn't we have... Yeah. This one is my my version uh, before it's sent to the Orient, which then they replicate everything that I've done and to get the quality control. So there's a process of approval, and so they'll send back... So that's what it looks like. They'll send back something right, like that? something that... And then obviously little notes of maybe the colorations. Over here you see that it's lighter to dark, and so the gradation that happens here is kind of notes that they take from... From my messages to correct okay so was this one approved this one was if you notice it was too dark for me so i wanted the the um, teal color to be a little bit lighter so that's what these notes reflect to kind of lighten that so that you can have mm -hmm. right here mm -hmm. to look like your original mm -hmm. so is this is this the final so this was the final and this is one of the prototypes 
amazing. Betty Boop is in the virtual convention gift shop, everybody. I was able to get a couple of them. She's only limited to 50 worldwide. Yeah. And it is so incredible to see her detailing and the amount of playability with her and just the whole process. It's awesome. And look, here's and the different prototypes for Mickey so here's and another olive oil. prototype for olive oil. Yes. Same process goes with every single one. Um, but basically, you just correct anything and make everything perfect and finesse everything that needs to be um, addressed. Fantastic. And then here's Mickey. This is early stages of some of the painting that went on. Um, this is actually, normally I would do the flesh colors first. And then this, for the flesh, I want to say is about maybe seven or eight flesh colors before you get the right color. Um, so they're pretty uh, intricate. They are fantastic. And then here is the Fraggle too. Oh, Fraggle. Yeah, let's see the body of Fraggle. So we we see Fraggle in her in her final glory, but this is what's underneath all that yeah. felt. So underneath the press felt, it's a full body sculpt, and so it's got the twist waist. But this is what's underneath all the fur, and as you can see, it's freestanding, um, still jointed, has the same techniques that this comes off to hold all the joints in its in place. Uh, goes back on and there you have it ball jointed and i wanted to make the, the reason for the additions being so small is i wanted to make them so special so i wanted to make them very limited oh, it also yes. per, uh, pertains to the quality control of the pieces too oh totally they are very special and very limited so if you want to snag one get it now on the virtual convention gift shop we only have a few we are going to in the meantime Get with Greg and get in his drawers. <laughs> We're going to go through your drawers, Greg. Come on over. Come on Come over. On over. <laughs> we are. We're going to, we're gonna, in his studio. Um, and that's one of my favorite jokes. Every time I'm in an artist's studio is that I'm going to get in their drawers. But, <laughs> but, but it, when you're a doll collector, to get, to, to see and to get into, I'll just give you guys a peek. It is such a dream for all of us. Look at these wonderful Danbury Mint Cupies that he has right there. It's just so eclectic and amazing. I'll give you another little peek over there. I'm not going to show you too much because we just can't. But look at the ribbon. So awesome. Okay. So we're going to go share the video. Didn't you just love seeing this? We have a lot to do. Greg Ortiz, thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.